Hello, hello, divine feminine, divine masculine, soulmates, twin flames. Hi, you all. Hi, you divinely beautiful individuals. Hi, people. How are you all doing? Welcome to my channel. I am Tierra Love. What's going on with you all? Okay, today is 11 11. So I just felt the need to see what is going on with Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. What is you all's energy, okay? Whether you two, this Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, whether you two are together or separately, you just Divine, just separately here, or we have soulmates or twin flames, whatever the case may be, we're going to take a look, okay? Please know, y'all, these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right, y'all. So, um, oh, if you all are new here again welcome i really hope you're going to find some messages here that will be helpful if you all are returning welcome back you all thank you to everyone that has previously liked subscribed shared commented or even just watched i greatly appreciate it okay um also if you all are active on facebook instagram tiktok and you would like to go check me out on uh, my other social media platforms Feel free to just go down to that description box below. Um, I do have the links listed or posted, okay? All right, y'all. So, we're about ready to get started. Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines. Okay. So, I'm going to get a message here. Hold on, y'all. All right, you all. Okay. So, first, so we're going to start with the Divine Feminine here. Let's get a surrounding. All right. Let's get a message here for divine feminines. A message for divine feminines. All right, divine feminines, you have hopes and dreams. Okay, so you want to focus divine feminines on your dreams with positive thoughts. And your intentions. Dream big and believe in yourself. Your heartfelt desires are beginning to manifest. Okay. So let's see what we have for divine masculines here. Divine masculines. All right, Divine Masculine, you have this mature woman. <laughs> this is someone who's possibly fair-haired, who is naturally intuitive, loves to travel, and believes in herself and what she does. She is an entrepreneur, a great mentor, and a free spirit. So, Divine Masculines, you could have your Divine Feminine here all in your energy here. Okay, that could be a message for, for you from Spirit here, giving you some... Uh, I guess maybe some qualities here of uh, this divine feminine. All right. So a collective message, both for divine masculine and divine feminine. Um, there could have been recently an event that may have surprised or confused you all. Something will be revealed to you really soon to help you understand the universe works in mysterious ways. Okay. Also divine feminines, divine masculines, your spirit guides are ready to communicate. All right. So pay attention to your dreams as your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you let them know that you are open to receiving their messages okay so we're about to dive in y'all we're about to see what's going on we're gonna dive in and we're gonna keep diving and diving all right so let's see divine feminines divine masculines what's going on with divine feminines and divine masculines in love here whether they are together or separately all right so let's jump in here let's see let's see okay so it looks like here situation here someone is trying to make peace divine feminines or divine masculines here is trying to make peace love and energy healing for your counterparts for your divine counterparts here okay it's a reunion that is on the way here um once either divine masculine once one of you all make peace love and healing energy for yourself then you're going to bring forth a reunion okay so that's the situation here let's look at some stagnations between divine feminines and divine masculines here 
All right. So someone's my one. Okay. We have, I hear your thoughts, but with this being in stagnation here, it could be that uh, divine feminines, divine masculines, you're so mentally overwhelmed at this time that you are having a hard time hearing your divine counterparts' uh, thoughts here, okay? Uh, mentally, you are a bit uh, clouded, okay? So, um, let's see. Let's keep going. Let's look into the reset path here between divine feminines and divine masculines. All right, in the recent past, I have cleared my karma and moving towards you here. So recently here, one of the divine counterparts has um, been working on clearing karma here, is ready to move towards the other, okay? Y'all, we're going to get some clarity. Let's see what, uh, let's look at the near future here for this these twins or divine feminine, divine masculine. All right, so you two are, or you all are moving towards purging here. So we're going to be purging. We're going to clarify this energy here, but you're moving towards purging here. So you're clearing out karma in the recent past, and you purging. So it's like you're still going to be working on uh, clearing your energy, making sure that uh, your surrounding energy is pure. Um, energetically, your inner energy here is, is just cleansed and pure, okay? So let's look at, um, this needs to go this way. All right, let's look at conscious mind, the conscious mind here. All right, consciously here, you know that you want to be with your divine counterpart here. You do know that you do want to be with your divine counterpart. What don't you know? Let's look at the subconscious subconsciously here you don't know that your twin is healing your divine counterpart is healing here subconsciously you don't know that um that your um, counterpart is releasing and letting go of whatever it is that maybe they was holding on to, okay? The um, clearing out the karma and releasing and, and purging, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's look at the current influence on this connection. All right, we meet in our dreams. So divine feminines, divine masculines here. The current influence on this connection is... Um, you two are just, uh, first off, it is, uh, we, we meet in our dreams, it's connecting on a spiritual level, um, not more so of a physical level here. Also have, I am starting to become enlightened. So the current influence on this connection is the twin or your divine counterpart is beginning or starting to become enlightened here okay all right so let's look at the external influence here on this connection the runner is acting cold because of insecurities so your divine counterpart is acting cold because they are dealing with some insecurities right now also we have the numbers 999 so right now when it comes to the external influence you do want to pay attention to the journey you are on with your divine counterpart it could be in separate it could be that separation is soon on its way out as the runner may stop um, or a karmic relationship could be ending and it will bring you to closer all right the twin journey may need time apart or you two will be ascending together but once one cycle ends a new one will begin okay all right let's look at your hopes and our fears the divine feminines divine masculines hopes and our fears here i feel the magnetic pull on our souls here so you're hoping that your divine counterpart is going to feel um your magnetic pull on their soul and you fearing that they will not Okay, also, um, just divine feminine, divine masculine, you all need to manage your own balance here. So when it comes to your hopes and our fears, you have to um, become in balance with self, all right? So um, you can manifest what it is that you are dreaming and hoping, okay? And you can stand clear of whatever you are fearing here, all right? We have violent flame healing, so... The divine, um, the divine counterparts here are healing here. This connection is healing. So let's look. What are you two moving towards here? Divine feminines, divine masculines. 
I'm sorry, my love. So, your divine counterpart is going to want to apologize here. We have springtime, so we have closeness. We have um, flowers. We have birds chirping here. Um, your twin, your divine counterpart spirit is going to be awake. Um, your spirit is awakening here. All right. And you two are in this whirlwind together. Okay. So, Y'all, we about to dive in a little deeper. Excuse me. Let's see, y'all. We about to dive in a little deeper. We about to clarify this energy for divine feminines, divine masculines. Divine feminines, divine masculines. Whether you all are together with each other or you're just a divine feminine and a divine masculine. Okay. So, let's see. We're clarifying what is going on here. With divine feminines and divine masculines. DF, DM, what is going on? All right, so let's uh, look more into this situation here. Let's clarify, clarify the situation. All right, we have manifesting here. So, um, we have practice. Okay, so divine feminines, divine masculines. You all have to practice the law of attraction and become aware of your thoughts because you are interacting with the conscious universe, all right? So you have to know that you are interacting with conscious universe here. Um, and let's practice the law of attraction, okay? Uh, for some of you divine counterparts, you are in this energy right now. You are manifesting or trying to manifest your divine counterpart here, okay? All right, so we're getting down to it here. Okay, so situation here with divine, uh, feminine, and masculines. You could be in a situation where you think this, your person here is giving you false hope here. Um, you feel like someone has no intentions on committing here. Okay, um, so you like here, she's almost about to cut these strings. Okay, so um, it's like if you're... Yeah, you don't, you're just unsure here in this situation. You think this person might be stringing you along. You think, um, for some of us divine counterparts, you need to cut ties here with a karmic care. Okay, so this, that's the situation. So, um, might be, it might be still some strings attached, attached here to your karmic care. Um, but let's look more into the stagnation. Stagnation here. We have in sync here. Okay, so right now, divine feminist, divine masculines. If we don't cut these ties, whatever it is, it's tied to the past, a past connection, a past person here, then um, this connection will not, you and your person will not be in sync here. Okay, so it says you just, you two just get each other. Perhaps you finish each other's sentences. Or you know what the other is thinking. This connection feels effortless. But with this being in the stagnation right now, it don't quite feel effortless here, okay? Because someone still is attached to karmic energy here. Let's look more into the stagnation. All right, so a stagnation here. Okay, so someone is a bit impatient. For this, for the union um, to manifest, okay? So we have the marriage here. So with great patience, you will achieve the commitment that you are looking for. This kind of love, many only will dream of finding here. But so again, with this being in a, in a stagnation, is like one of the divine counterparts could be in a situation where they are not with their uh, divine counterpart. They're with the karmic here, okay? All right, so let's look at the recent past here with I have cleared my karma and moving towards you. All right, so it looks like your twin is awakening to this connection. So in the recent past, your divine counterparts here recently just realized here they need to clear their karma here. Your twin is awakening to your connection and they are ready to put the work, put in the work to manifest a reunion in the 3D world. So expect some progress here, okay? Also in the recent past, you have an apology here. So your divine counterparts, and maybe is want to come in with a genuine apology, but we know with an apology, that means that there was some hurt. There were some um, ups and downs. Um, so it looks like 
Um, someone is trying to do anything to win you over your, okay. Uh, we got an apology. All right. So I don't know. Maybe you feel a viewer that maybe you feel like you need to go in with an apology here. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's look more into the I am purging. All right. A lost case here. So it looks like one of your divine counterparts here, divine feminine or divine masculine, um, have experienced so much pain and is struggling to see the purpose or the points of this connection here with this karmic. Okay. So perhaps it's time to let go and begin to heal. So that is what you are purging or um, your divine counterpart is, is purging here. All right. Also, they purging the false twin flame. Okay. So it's like loving this person. It filled them leaving drained. It it made them it gave a feeling of uh, feeling drained in that they felt incompatible. Uh deep down, you know, something was not right here. So that is what your divine counterpart is doing, purging themselves from the false twin, um, whoever they had this attachment to here. Okay, let's look more into the conscious mind. Consciously, you know you are madly in love. Consciously here, um, it's like you know your divine counterpart is madly in love with you. Okay, all right. And you know there is some type of still maybe some sneaky behavior that is going on here. Um, someone could be fooling around at work or having an affair with a co-worker. Um, yeah, I don't know. You could be madly in love with this person, a divine. I don't know. All right, so let's look at subconsciously what you don't know. What you don't know here. You don't know that your divine counterpart is dealing with a lot of doubt and confusion here. They do need more time before they are able to decide here. They, until they clear the karma or clear themselves of the karmic energy, whatever the case may be, um, they still want to be a little clouded. They don't know quite know where it's headed here. Subconsciously, what you don't know is that you two will survive it all here. You two will stay together. Okay. Let's look more. Let's clarify. Um, we meet in our dreams, and I'm starting to become enlightened here. All right, we have this filia love. So the current influence on the connection here. Um, you don't want to make sure you don't lock into tunnel vision on romantic love as the only possibility for the situation. Some twin flames are better off as friends here. So that means if your divine counterpart do not become more enlightened, if they do not cut these ties from karmic here, um, then you know y'all might just still be meeting in dreams. Okay. Let's look more into the external influence here with this twin flame 999. <clears throat> All right. So the external influence here is a lot of obstacles. There is a lot of obstacles here um, that your divine counterparts have to overcome here. They do need some more time to clear up, clean up, um, delete some text messages calls you know clear clear some things all right so let's look more into your hopes and our fears here we have some incompatibilities all right so if you're looking for a long-term relationship you do want to find someone that you are compatible with um that is the key to avoid a very challenging connection here okay and we have working it out so Hopes and our fears. You're either hoping that your divine counterpart is going to come in to work things out here and try to rekindle this spark here, or you're fearing that um, they will not put the final effort into this connection to save it. Okay, so let's look more into what are you two moving towards? Travel here. So be ready for new experiences or possibly an opportunity to travel whatever this new adventure is you can count on making progress okay um you are moving towards uh somebody's trying to manipulate here we do have a manipulator um so oh it could be a manipulator somebody watching you here all right so um, there's going to be someone watching you. They miss you, but they feel safer watching you from a distance or trying to overcome their fears by checking your social media. So I don't know your divine counterpart could be doing a, a, a watching you a lot here while they clear out karma. Okay. All right. So let's get some more messages. Okay, y'all. Let's see. 
Do I want to get this here? Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. All right, y'all. We're going to get our yin yang deck to look more into. See what's going on here with divine feminines, divine masculines, whether they are together, okay, or separately. Let's see, let's see. All right, divine feminines, divine masculine, look more into the situation here. Tell us more about the situation between divine feminines and divine masculines. All right, so someone have to break out of to break break away from the toxicity here. Um, got to there's some patterns that you have to rid yourself of or your counterpart here. Okay, looks like someone is trying to break out of this bondage here. Okay, also um, we have ancestor guides. So in the situation here, your ancestors are trying to guide you. Your ancestor guides are trying to steer you, divine feminine and masculine, um, on the right path here. So. Trust and pay attention, okay? Let's look more into the stagnation. Stagnation here is you not being grateful, okay? So you got to show gratitude for the present moment here, all right? Um, that way more abundance will come in, okay? Stagnation here is there is something that unexpectedly happened here. We have like a tower moment. So this calls some type of awakening here, all right? Um yeah so let's keep going let's look more into the recent past divine feminines divine masculines in the recent past here you are open and ready to receive abundance gifts here um we have libra gemini aquarius energy here if it's not okay um there is a breakthrough there was truth there was clarity there was communication all right um <clears throat> Or you needed more communication, all right? Or just um, needed more clarity here. All right, so let's see. Let's look at the near future. In the near future, someone is going to be spying here. Someone is going to be checking up on you. Someone is going to be isolating. One of your um, your divine counterpart could be you. Isolate yourself in thoughts here, thinking a lot, but just looking. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of... Hopefully, that's your divine counterpart looking and not the karmic energy here. All right. So, let's keep going. Let's look at the conscious. Tell us about what you do know. You do know that you are reflecting maybe some of your past here on your divine counterpart. You do know that um, you don't quite like... Well, I'm not going to... It's the reflection. It's like um, there needs to be a healing that takes place. Okay. Um, um, you know, all right, so it's like one of your divine counterparts, one of you all is just having a hard time seeing your reflection here. So that means something from the past needs to be healed, okay? All right, so let's look at the subconscious, look more into the subconscious. Subconsciously, you don't know that your higher self is being activated, divine. All right. Also, you don't know that you are clinging to your comfort zone. All right. So um, it's like uh, with clinging to your comfort zone right now, you, you're suffocating yourself. You are not able to um, allow your higher self to be activated right now. Okay. All right. So let's, let's, oh, we're not finished. Ha, ha, ha. All right, so let's see uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Looking more into the current influence. Current influence here. You got to pull forth your strength. Um, feel empowered here. Um, you do have a lot of strength. You do have a lot of power. That's why you are divine, okay? So you are starting to become more enlightened. The current influence here is you going through an awakening or, yeah, all right, so you're starting to be more enlightened here, okay, in this situation, or your or your divine counterpart is, all right, um, in a situation where maybe they had this tunnel vision here on a romantic love, or they thought here with the karmic, okay. So let's look more into external influence. External influence here is the shadow side. Um, the dark night. So there are, I guess that's why we need to clean up here. Um, 
some secrets that's why there's uh we have the obstacles all right too many obstacles to overcome okay um the runner is okay so yeah the external influence is is externally here this this connection is still being influenced by a lot of secrets um a, your divine counterpart needs to clean up some things here or you or need more time here okay um let's look more into the hopes and or fears hopes and or fears here we have a reunion and soul ties okay tell us more all right so you do you don't want to lose yourself here um, in this situation with your divine counterparts here. You're fearing that you're going to lose yourself or you're fearing maybe rejection here. Okay. Are you fearing a bit uh, that you are just a bit fragmented here while dealing with in this situation? So um, you do want to rejection is actually for your divine protection here. We have we have things we have Things that we have to kind of work on and clear out before. It can actually be something magical here. Okay. Let's look more into what are you moving towards. All right. We have an external party. So I don't know. Maybe the external party could be watching you. Um, could be trying to manipulate here. Your divine counterparts here. You do got to know your. Put your intentions out there. Um, give yourself self love here. Know what you want to create, okay? Because we start out situation manifesting here and you ending up with creation. So, you know what you, uh, make sure, you know, you're mindful of what you are creating. Being mindful. All right. All right. So, let's get some more messages here for our divine feminines, divine masculines. Looking more into tell us more about the situation. All right, so in this situation, you do want to take a ride and explore new scenery um, of your person's inner thoughts here. Okay, so you kind of want to tap into your divine counterpart mental here, see what they're thinking. The obstacles here is there's a lot of jealousy, gossip, envy here that is surrounding this connection with your counterpart here. All right, so. Someone is trying to stand in the way of this connection. Let's look at the recent past. In the recent past, there was a lot of sexual healing here between you and your divine counterparts here. Um, you two really enjoy letting your bodies release the tension while you enjoy each other's pleasure. Okay. All right. Let's look at the near future. This is a sacred bond that is divinely guided here in home. Harmon harmonious okay i don't know why i can't say that but yeah all right so also in the future here um if life were a movie being with your divine counterpart will be the best parts you both want to bring the better parts out of each other okay all right let's look at the conscious your conscious mind what you know you do know that you are walking down memory lane. You do know that you do have history here with your divine counterpart. Maybe um, you or your divine counterpart is still walking down memory lane, um, reminiscing here, or still dealing with the past person here. Okay, but what you do know is that um, you do really enjoy your counter, your divine counterpart there. Uh, there's a lot of laughter here, a lot of uh, positivity. The laughter shared between soulmates warms the spirit in no way a cult could ever hear, um, could ever. So what you know consciously is that you really enjoy your, yeah, of course you're going to enjoy your divine counterparts, okay? So what you don't know, you don't know that this person that you are inquiring about is your soulmate. That sense of familiarity and comfort that you feel is your confirmation, okay? Let's look more into the um, current influence here on this connection, all right? We have ecstasy, okay? So your partner elevates your mind, body, and soul. This feeling is of pleasure is electrifying for you. That's the current influence here. Oh, there y'all. I gotta get some water. Water, water. 
All right. So the ecstasy here, your partner elevating your mind, body, and so that's the current influence. Let's look more into the external influence here. All right. So you two, um, it's, it's going to be doors are beginning to open up in a new phase in your love life here. A fresh start is always good. So that's the external influences that you all need to just be open and ready to go into a new chapter here. Okay. Let's look more into the fears, hopes, hopes and or fears here. We got some unfinished business here. So there may be a past life connection or some unfinished business with this person. Um, maybe with your divine. Okay. Maybe um, your divine counterpart with this. With the karmic here. Okay. So. Yeah. We got accountability. So one of you all needs to take accountability for your actions. It may be you or your partner or the both of you. But acknowledging the effect of your behavior will allow you two to move forward. All right. So let's see. What are you two moving towards? The divine counterparts. Your life partner. This person is someone that you can enjoy um, life with wholeheartedly. You two can get through anything together. Okay. All right, so let's see how's Divine Feminine feeling about Divine Masculine. What is Divine Feminine's feelings towards Divine Masculines? All right, what's Divine Feminine's feelings towards Divine Masculines? Oh, but yeah, okay. Divine Feminines, let's see. All right, Divine Feminines, you feel like ma your masculine here maybe is broken on the inside. You feel like Divine Masculine is not stable enough. Um, and you just kind of having a hard time. What you feel like Divine Masculine? It's like you're not ready to trust your masculine with your heart at this time. Okay, so you being patient here. All right. Um... Yep, let's see. Let's get some more. Divine Feminines, you do want to message the Divine Masculine here and explain to Divine Masculine everything, okay? So, you're thinking about this message here. Um, you, Divine Feminines, you got unexpected here, all right? So, the answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you might have moved on here. So, Divine Feminines, your feelings towards Masculine here, you like, um... I don't know. If they don't come in with this message, I don't know, Divine Feminines, are some of you all just kind of ready or feeling like you might have to walk away from your Divine Masculine? Um, all right. So let's see. Um, what is Masculine feelings towards Feminines? All right. So Masculines, um, they do have a dark side that no one knows and they feel is their true side, but they're too afraid to show the Feminines. Okay. Also, masculines is dealing with some lustful desires here. Um, they have to overcome that spirit of lust, all right? Masculines here is doing a lot of dreaming here. It's trying to manifest those dreams into reality. But they just dreaming because um, they have to get rid of the karmic war. Yeah, all right. So let's, let's, let's keep going. Let's see. Let's get some feelings here between uh, feminines and masculines. We're going to see. Let's get some feelings between divine feminines and divine masculines. All right. So let's see who wants to talk. Who wants to talk? What do they want to say? Divine Feminine says, I am willing to put the work into the connection. I regret not doing so previously. I want to give to you. Okay. The Masculine. Divine Masculine says, can we start over? Masculine here feels like a lot of time is passing. You two by. They feel like you two have wasted a lot of time in this silence here. Okay. Divine Feminines, you do want to be real here with your Masculine. You just don't want to get hurt. The masculine feel like uh, they need to move away from this for now. Um, some distance is going to help bring them some clarity. Um, masculines would just like a give and take here. 
And it's just that simple. Oh, masculine talking a lot, okay? Masculine do want to celebrate love here with feminines. They do want to see you. They do long to be with you, okay? Feminine says, love has always been a game. Oh, so it seems safer that way to you, feminines. It, it was a way for you to control things. But you realize that it wasn't a game to your masculine. And feminines, you are wanting to apologize here. Okay. Lastly, masculine says they would love to see you, feminines. They want to wrap their arms around you. They do want to hold you again. Masculine says, can you two reconcile? All right. Okay, so let's see. Um, oh no, y'all. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Let me hurry up, y'all. Let me hurry up. So I um, cause I gotta clear out. I gotta get some space. Clear out some space. I'm looking for the. Okay, I'm trying to get you all a healing message. Let's get a healing message here. For Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. And then we're going to cut it off, y'all. Healing message here for Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. Feminines first. What message do we have for Feminines? Feminines here, you have false narrative. So you do want to be mindful of the story that you are telling yourself. Having a negative narrative is destructive and simply not true. You do want to stop listening to your ego-based story that is laced with falsehoods and old conditioning. For every negative thing that you tell yourself, uh, Divine Feminines, you do want to counteract that by saying three positive words. See the truth in who you are, which is wise, magnificent, and radiant. Okay? All right, and Divine Masculines, you got self-care. So you do want to take time to replenish your mind, body, and soul. It is a must. Um, enjoy this time to reconnect and make yourself a priority. Ask yourself what is serving you and what is taken from you. Much, much can be revealed when you stop putting yourself at the bottom of the list. Okay. All right. So divine feminines, divine masculines. These are your messages. I really hope they will be helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me. I am sending you all so much love, light, and positivity. Thank you all for your likes, subscribe, shares, and comments. I greatly appreciate it, you all. Okay, and I will see you beautiful people next time, okay? All right, love you all. See y'all later. Bye.